just a quick video. My new truck, well, new old truck, new to me truck. It's a 1981 Chevy Silverado C20. It's actually the heavy duty version. There's an order code if you look in the, uh, the booklets for this year for the heavy duty Silverado. And I apologize, I don't know if this is going to come out good because it's such a bright day and I'm using my iPhone. So, uh, the truck came from Southern California. I bought it off someone in my area. So, aside from some of the obvious tailpipe rust and a little bit of rust on the chrome here and there where it got rubbed up and scraped against, uh, the underside is virtually spotless. The frame's solid, everything's great. So there is no, uh, let's say, catastrophic rust. Not even a little bit. Everything is totally solid. I'm parked a little close to my shed, so I really can't show you too much on that side. It's getting its battery charged right now. That's what you see the cord hanging out of there. So like I said, this is the heavy-duty version. Apparently you can order it as a C20 HD. I think the order code was something like A87C or something. But basically what that amounts to is a heavier duty suspension. Let's see if we can see that under here. Heavy duty frame, heavy duty suspension, uh, oil cooler, transmission cooler, upgraded uh, transmission. As you can see, nice and clean under here. Uh, I had a camper on it in some part of its life. And they put this big ugly cap on it, but I like it because it closes the bed in. Cap's not in great shape. And I'm trying to fit between my other car here, so that's why I'm giving you such a close view of everything. It's got the Chevy 454, the big block. 7.2 liter, I think. 7.2, 7.4 liter. I forget off the top of my head. But, uh... Does a great job. I love this truck. See the engine there. No dual battery, which was interesting. The dual battery, I believe, would go right there with the extra battery tray. It has some kind of Ouga horn on it. Somebody puts some nice chrome rims on it. Went from uh, 16.5 to 16s. Or vice versa. No, I believe it came with 16.5s and they went down to 16s. So, I'll show you the interior. The interior is in equally nice shape. Be careful, I don't whack my other car. Hood will shade us a little bit so you can get a good view. AC works. Everything works. Actually, the only thing that doesn't work right now is the brake lights. That's because of a brake light switch that's sticking, which I have to replace. Headliner's in good condition. I'm sure some of this has been replaced at some point of its life, but I didn't replace it. This is the way I got it. Doors have been painted. Not very well. They need a little bit of work, as you can see. And the carpet's a little old, but it's uh, in good shape. It's a two-wheel drive truck, by the way, because I have two four-wheel drive vehicles already. And I don't need another one. And uh, actually, you know what? The radio doesn't work very well. It's some aftermarket radio that has to go. And the dash is a little cracked. Which, I don't know if you're picking that up. There you go. And I would start it, but I got the uh, battery charger and my son's sleeping. And I don't want to wake him up because this thing, uh, it's not loud, but uh, it's not quiet. I'll put it to you that way. So there you have it. Maybe I'll do a startup one day when I have the time and when not everyone's sleeping. It's a long bed too. I'll show you inside real quick. 
the short beds are apparently the more popular models, but I like I like the long bed. Could fit more in there. There's the spare tire wheel and the original 16 inch spare. Or maybe not original, but original as far as uh, the fact that that's how I got it. So, bed's in good shape too. A little bit of surface rust here and there, but.